you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little scrap combo. Um, we're going to kind of be using the new scrap card that just got released. That card is absolutely insane. It's basically discard this card, search anything you want. Um, so right here, it's just like this. This was first hand, you know. It's perfectly playable. And um, you, you scrapyard searches the card. Fossil dig searches the card because it is a dino. Uh, the card is insane. You'll see it right here. It is a scrap raptor. Uh, what it reads. You can target a monster you control, destroy it, then you can normal summon a scrap monster. So it's kind of a double summon. Yeah, that first, even that first effect is decent, I guess, in scrap some since it can destroy your cards for free. But second effect is really what pushes it is because if it's destroyed by the effect of the scrap card, you can search either scrap factory or a non-tuner scrap monster. Um, the non-tuner part doesn't really matter since you don't run that many tuners in the first place. So um, it basically says search anything you want. Like that's all it says, and it's searchable as scrap here since it is a tuner itself. Um, so we're gonna roll some squ the scrap raptor, and um, we'll just see what he does here. Just searches whatever you want. We'll be searching scrap shark, and the combo I'll be showing is scrap factory plus shark. Both of them are full combo. We're gonna roll some shark. Um, activate factory shark reads that when an uh, effect monster's effect is activated or a spell trap card is activated, just it just pops itself. I think it's kind of to balance out, quote unquote, its 2100 body. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a difference. It's gonna pop itself, and um, once destroyed, you can send a scrap monster from your deck to graveyard. And um, the scrap factory will also trigger since a scrap monster was destroyed by a card effect. You can summon a scrap ma monster from your deck. So we're gonna be dumping a scrap searcher with our um, shark, and we're gonna be summoning scrap golem with our factory. Now we'll go, go ahead and use the effect of golem in order to summon back the raptor. Um, it's really just, you can summon back anything, you're just going to make Scrap Wyvern regardless. You're going to use Wyvern spec in order to bring back anything you want. Um, Actually, it's not anything you want, you have to bring back Scrap Shark specifically. And then um, you're going to pop Scrap Shark again. And then you'll have pretty, uh, you'll have Chaining 3, uh, Chaining 1 Wyvern to summon a card from deck. Chaining 2 Shark to send a card from deck to Graveyard since it would destroy by card effect. And Chaining 3, the card we dumped off um, Shark, which is Scrap Searcher. Um, what it reads is, um, if a scrap monster is destroyed, you can summon it from your graveyard, which is, uh, <laughs> um, it's basically monster reborn, it's kind of like found by some torn skills to some respect. Um, so it's, Surger will summon itself, and then you'll summon a golem with wyvern. I forgot to resolve, um, shark earlier, but it, it, we'll just do it here. Um, like, you, like, shark sends scrap recycler, and then you revive it with the, uh, scrap golem. Um, Golem isn't actually a brick in pure scrap since you do want multiples of him. Um, like right here, we've already burned to a second copy of him, surprisingly enough. So we're gonna go ahead and use Recycler Spec to dump World Legacy World Crown. Now, this is to get a World Legacy monster in the graveyard in order to summon Lib. Uh, what Lib reads is um, you can set any World Legacy monster, spell, or trap from your deck to the field. So you're gonna set World Legacy Succession. Gonna use Succession's effect in order to um, summon back the Golem from the Graveyard. Golem is not a once hard once per turn, so you're gonna use Effect again to summon the Recycler. Recycler is not a once once per turn either, so you're gonna use Effect in order to send a Crystron Rosenix. Are you gonna use Rosenix effect in order to um, batch stuff, summon a token, and then um, uh, Scrap Searcher is the Wing Beast for some reason, so you can link it into Simorg. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and link the token into Link Rebo, and then since um, Lib is a light monster, you can go ahead and link it and the Link Rebo into a Union Carrier. And finally, with the two Earth monsters on the field, uh, within two non link monsters on the field, you can make IP Masquerina. Um, this is gonna be your end board. You use Union Carrier, equip the Thunderbird to your Simorg, and then during end phase, Simorg will trigger summoning the Thunderbird. Um, that's the end board, some more than Apex Avion's kind of basic. Um, and on your opponent's turn, when they use a card effect, you're gonna use the cha Chaining 2 will be Avion, the Chaining 3 will be IP to send itself and the Union Carrier to Graveyard to summon Apex, a um, not Apex Avion, uh, Crusader Avermax, and then you can use Avion will bounce Thunderbird, summon Avion, and um, that's kind of it. Uh, if your opponent tries to attack over Thunderbird, they cannot since um, uh, Avermax is an attack mar magnet. And um, Avion, um, no matter what effect your opponent uses, you can just bounce back to Thunderbird, summon itself. And it's also protected from card effects since uh, some more points to it. Uh, which is really insane. And you can even summon another Scrap Searcher, although I don't know why you would do that specifically. Um, so, that is kind of the combo. I guess I'll get to the uh, deck profile now. 
right here we have the uh, deck um it's still kind of in its baby stages you know still haven't perfectly solved the card scrap raptor um but what you're trying to do is just a consistency piece for your main combo um ash blossom just your generic hand drop rosenix it's um realistically the only garnet i wouldn't count fridge as a target i mean you're running three of it and um it's really easy to get out of your deck with cards like um wyvern and factory regardless so it isn't that bad to have um, Orthros is a free extender. Um, Chimera, it does require a bit of graveyard setup, but with the Scrap Raptor, it's actually a lot easier to use its effect. Um, Raptor itself is able to search anything, uh, which is stupid. Uh, Recycler, I really want to cut off on it, but Recycler plus Factory, I, I believe, is also um, combo, except instead of IP Masquerade, now you get Link Rebo, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the uh, Endboard in, in general is a bit weaker if you're using Scrap Recycler, but it's still kind of worth it. Um, the Scrap Searcher is pretty good since, uh, well, uh, Scrap Searcher is Scrap Searcher. It's able to just summon itself from the graveyard whenever you want. Um, it does have the downside that when summoned, you have to destroy all face of monsters. You control like the Scrap Monsters, but you're usually controlling Scrap Monsters when you destroy a card. Um, um, World Legacy World Crown isn't a uh, Garnet by any means. Um, since you can, it's an extender actually, since you can summon it to his own link cost of point two, you can link it off into whatever you want, and then um, immediately after that, you can um, send it to Graver and then for your lib. Um, after that, Scrap Shark is going to be your main combo starter since it triggers Scrap Factory, which is your most important card, um, and Scrap Shark also chain blocks uh, Scrap Factory, which is another plus side. Avion's going to be for engine gates, of course. Fossil they can search the new monster since it is a dinosaur um, and then you can search the searcher like you have nine extra copies of everything in the deck which is really stupid with this new card. Um, scrap factory is super broken, um, summons a scrap from deck for free which is really stupid. Um, scrap storm is able to pop a card, um, you're, you're able to send a scrap monster from your deck to graveyard, you're able to pop a card and then draw a card and the reason why that is pretty relevant is because um, if you pop a card like Chimera, Chimera for example, um, wait, oh wait, sorry, it doesn't have that effect, but a lot of them do have the effect, like, um, like Orthos right here, for example, and the effect to, um, you're able to ret retrieve any of your scraps that's destroyed, and, um, if you send a searcher from your deck to graveyard, you're able to summon searcher immediately after that, so you're getting a free draw, and searcher's life, and if you have scrap factory too, then you are able to do even more stuff, just extend even further, um, it's just a really good card to have, and increase your consistency even more, scrapyard increases your consistency, even more you guessed it um because it's, it's it's a free search for raptor um since he is a scrap tuner monster um terraforming terraforming is searches scrap factory which is your main pivotal point and finally the world legacy succession um it, it's not a garnet it's monster reborn um not a brick either monster reborn is always good regardless of the situation um so that is kind of it for the main deck where our extra deck we run the access code um I believe uh, Scrap Recycler plus Factory is like a really good access code with like four different attributes or three, I don't remember. Uh, it just blows up the entire field, field for free and I think you also get keep an extra monster which is uh, really stupid. Uh, Might be Masquerade now usually is for Avermax although if you are in a pinch you can use it for Nightmare too. Um, Nightmare Phoenix and Unicorn they're both for spot removal and clear up the board for um, access code fills your graveyard with different attributes does everything. Uh, Lib, Lib not, not only does it search Monster Reborn, but it's also able to um, shuffle a card when it's used as Link material. Uh, Link Rebo, not only is it an inherent battle fader, it also turns the card into Cyber so that you can link it with Lib for a unit carrier. An Avermax to, as an attack magnet, and um, there are very few decks in the game that can out um, Avermax that has been made with IP since it basically has Dragoon protection except it doesn't even die to access code which is um, it just makes it a lot harder for a lot of decks. Um, Scrap Wyvern, Wyvern um, he's a really broken one. Uh, what, what he does, um, he's able to reborn a scrap then pop a card you control then if scrap monster is destroyed you can um, summon one from your deck then pop a card on the field including your opponent's card so it can not only be a form of board breaking but it's also able to just um, summon cards from deck which is really broken 
uh, Sumo British Sovereignty of course, um, and Union Carrier, the mandatory people, and then Nova Mechabinitis just for the um, Dogmatica matchup, and then Reaper Docus. In case you're not able to get enough extension, you do need the Reaper Docus if you're not able to get access to the Scrap uh, Searcher, uh, that's why he is very important. So that is the deck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. The scrap new scrap card is absolutely insane. And um, hopefully I can keep you guys happy. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.